Hi guys, this is David Kings from Kings Sceneries. Uh, today I want to show you my panel configuration. This is a very useful uh, panel configuration with uh, custom gouges, so uh, you can fly uh, very comfortable in uh, Fly Simulator X or Prepare 3. Um, so, first one I have, uh, it's my, uh, oh, it's the autopilot, uh, this one is uh, uh, very handy because you can control the autopilot from any view, actually all of these gouges can be controlled from any view, like from, uh, uh, from the cockpit view, the spot view or the tower view whatever so you only go like uh, okay you need to set your altitude uh, you go here set it uh, to whatever you want let's say it's here to 10,000 feet it went over a little bit so okay we're setting it to 10,000 feet then let's say you want to set your uh, airspeed uh, let's set it here to 2,000 250 knots because uh, remember the rule you cannot fly over 250 knots uh, below 10,000 feet so uh, right now we're saying 250 knots uh, the heading you just press ctrl H and will give you the heading of whatever heading you you are now um, now we are set for the autopilot, we don't have it on yet, but uh, we, we just set it. Now the the second uh, couch I want to show you, it's uh, the head-up display. Uh, this one I got it from uh, weapons from FSX with uh, uh, Captain Sim. This one is also very uh, handy and useful because it gives you all the information you need to have uh, doesn't matter the view or, or if you're looking only forward you are uh, in a, you are always uh, getting your airspeed your altitude your heading and the attitude of the aircraft uh, I have it for all uh, all my aircraft this is the Boeing 737 the default one but I have it for all my aircraft that I have uh, in Play Simulator um, for the default ones and for the add-on aircraft. Then uh, this one, this next one, it's the um, this one is a is a gauge that can um, that shows you um, well indicates you if you have your uh, your spoilers or not. So if you see those little red things coming up from the wings it's that uh, you have your spoil your spoilers are on then if you uh, put like reversers um, it will indicate you that you have your reversers on okay so it's very handy so we're taking off the reversers now then the other one I have it's a taxi it's a taxi speed control so uh, let's say you want a taxi. I always set it at 15 knots for taxi on the ground, so it's very, it's, it gives you a very steady taxi speed. So if I put here, uh, just set it to 15 or 16, 15 knots, and I just put taxi speed, just press it here, then I just uh, take off the brakes, the parking brakes, and the aircraft automatically will start taxiing at at the speed that I set it. In this case, it's 15 knots. I can set it at 20 or um, or 25 or maybe 30 if I wanted to. Um, it won't go over 40 or something like that. I don't know. But the thing is that you have a steady taxi at 15 knots on the ground, so you have to you don't have to be uh, playing with your throttle. So you know, if you want to break, uh, break and and uh, or turn or whatever, it always will keep you taxing at the same speed now just to, to set it off just press the taxi and automatically will come to a full stop 
or you all or you are uh, you can always press your brakes hit your brakes and will stop now the uh, next one will these ones are uh, uh, this other one is uh, the GPS uh, well it's a uh, GT N750 from flight one uh, that I have set here um, this one yeah okay so well yeah this is a this is a pay work uh, instrument or gouge um, this one is very handy but unless you are willing to spend fifty dollars on it it will become very very handy uh, here I just uh, put it to the to the uh, uh, virtual cockpit view so I you can see it right here and it will give you a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things like uh, your communications, uh, navigation frequencies, uh, departures. It's a very, it's a very handy uh, instrument to have because yeah, you know, uh, well, it will make your uh, flying very, very easy. So um, I think uh, that's it for for me. I'm here on, on the runway. Um, I'm just gonna make a little demonstration of, of how uh, I to take these ones off and just uh, keep the keep the autopilot and the head up display. So once I hit the throttle, uh, start uh, start uh, rolling down the runway uh, for takeoff. You know, you see how the speed is increasing here have your heading and your uh, in the altitude then attitude uh, degrees up degrees down we're gonna wait until 130 v1 start rotating then we go okay positive brake gear up now we set here we turn on the autopilot to throttle indicator speed then heading so now we are all set and the R2 pilot will um, automatically uh, give you the uh, air speed and the heading and the altitude which are at 10,000 feet so right now we are climbing but the thing is the real the, the good thing is that you can uh, control this autopilot from any view you like like spot view and you can still have your autopilot here tower view so and then the head up display is showing you your heading your airspeed uh, the attitude and everything so if you change direction let's say you want to change heading so let's go to a heading of a uh, we are at three trees here right now uh, let's go to a heading of a uh, uh, zero six zeros for a, for a for a 90 degree turn to the right so you as you can see the aircraft right now is turning um, and yeah 245 knots and, and uh, climbing at a rate of 1800 uh, feet per minute so um, that's it for today I just wanted to show you that my uh, final configuration I think I hope you like it, and if you want to, uh, if you want to set it like I did, or you want to ask me some questions, you, you feel feel free to write on the description, on the comments of the video, and I'll see you next time with some other uh, tips for uh, Flight Simulator X or uh, Prepart 3D. See you next time. This was David Kings from Kings Centers. Have a nice day.